Hey guys! This is going to take a couple of minutes. Part of the reason why everybody's here is because I want to tell you guys about the thing that Isabel, that we did um, in Michigan, that Dad and Isabel and I went to. So we found out she had scoliosis about a year ago. And last December, we found out that her curve had, had really, really curved quite aggressively. So her doctor here started talking about giving her the surgery and doing the surgery, and he predicted that she would have to have the surgery in another year. So we just decided that wasn't going to do for us. So we took her to this program where they take kids that have scoliosis and they use different exercise techniques to help straighten the spine. About a year ago, Isabel's curve was at 26 degrees, which was just barely noticeable. But by the time we got to the boot camp, it was at 45 degrees. So the end of the boot camp, though, they did do an x-ray without equipment. And so, Without equipment, she's all the way down to a 35. So this one shows the dramatic. It's a 45 degree curve and she's all the way down to a 35. That's a 10 degree difference. Good job, Izzy. And that's a lot of, a lot of hard work for her. Um, is, 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 is about spine ever gonna get like this? Uh, I don't know. I, it will never be straight, all the way straight, no. They can't guarantee that. I'm just impressed with her strength of character wanting to do this. Because honestly, it would probably be easier to get the surgery. And once you hit a 50 degree curve, the doctor says you just do surgery. There's just no alternatives. It's not unrealistic that a lot of people have surgery for their scoliosis. We don't want to do that. I'm not interested in having her quality of life challenged through the surgery. Surgery is the last thing I ever intend to do here. I fully intend to exploit every other option before surgery. I mean, there are stories where people have been fine with the surgery. There's also a lot of other stories where people have been in pain ever since they got the surgery. And right now, Isabel's not in pain, and it's not debilitating, and I would just rather see her fight it and gain the confidence and the personal growth and the strength that she's getting by fighting back. And I don't think there's any problem with teaching your daughter to fight back. So she's already down to a 35, and now we just keep on doing the exercises for the next few years until she's done growing. And she turns all buff. And she turns all buff and all sculpted. Oh, you guys, you should see it. Yep, look at this. Come on, Isabel. Look. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, so oh, whoa, so small. <laughs> There's no guarantee that the exercises will work. But there is a guarantee she'll be a better person.